All right, Mike, we are out here today on Veterans Day, a very special event going on. Why did you want to participate in this, to put together these care packages for active military? I mean, it's, it's, it's a small gesture. I mean, it's, a, a, it's I think the little things, it's going to mean a lot to guys that are having to be deployed and away from their friends and family. And it's uh, something I think I'll, uh, even myself kind of takes for granted, like being here. So I, I think it's a good thing to just show your support and let them know that uh, we're thinking about them. Yeah, it's really cool to see you and everyone else putting together these care packages. You seem like you've acclimated really well to San Diego mm. since you came here. What, what has it been like being in San Diego and how, how comfortable are you now in the city? Oh, I mean, this is already feels like my other home. I've got a home here now. I'm like moved out to San Diego. Yeah. You so, bought a home? Yeah, yeah. So wow. I'm staying here. Yeah. That's so whether, hopefully the Padres keep me. Yeah, I'm staying here. Either way. I, I love San Diego. But no, it's just uh, the community. I mean, it's been, it's been a trip just going around and just uh, meeting new people around here and just the admiration they have for the Padres and just uh, obviously the weather and, and, and the, the good sushi. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's been a great time. Two things that will keep you coming back for more, the weather and the good sushi, and of mm. course, the baseball. Now, you're on your second Tommy John. How's this one been different, the recovery from the first one? It's actually been a lot smoother. Okay. And I, I, just, uh, I don't know if it's because I know what to expect because I've been through one or if it's, uh, you know, the advances in technology. But either way, I'm yeah. here for it. But it's been, it's been a lot smoother than the first go, go around. That's really cool. And how do you feel now? Where are you at in the progression? Uh, I'm throwing off a mound now, so like slowly but surely. I'm going to like uh, five to ten pitches now, and I think I'll move to 15 pitches on Friday and then hopefully be able to go full bore in the following couple of weeks, which I'm excited for. What are you most looking forward to this next season as far as just getting back on the mound and being around the team as an active player? I mean, you've been around them for this whole recovery, which was so important to you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just I didn't want to be that guy that was on the satellite campus over in Arizona that showed up like, hey, I'm, I'm here now, so I wanted to... Uh, I wanted them to know that I was still around. I mean, COVID protocols limited me from my time at the field. I kind of have to get in, get out, but I was able to be around them just enough so they can, you know, see I'm putting in the work to still be here and help them win the next year. And uh, I mean, I'm excited to see a team with a little vengeance. So I think it's going to be a fun year. Vengeance is a good word. Yeah. Okay, Ruben Niebla, I got to ask you about him. What did you make of him coming to the Padres and what can you tell us about him? Oh, he's a man. I mean, Ruben, uh, probably single-handedly had the most influence over my pitching development since I've been in pro ball. And that's what I expressed to AJ very thoroughly when he was he, he reached out to you, right? Yeah, yeah, he asked me about him. He asked me yeah. about him. And uh, so I made it very clear about me. I mean, even guys like Corey Kluber, Shane Bieber. I mean, the, the, the list goes on that would go back, and the, the common denominator is Ruben Niebla. So, I mean, I think he's going to be huge, especially with all our different style. Between me, you, and Blake, and Musgrove, like, we're some of those different style of starters I think you can put together. And I think Ruben's the perfect guy because he's not a cookie-cutter guy. He's going to diagnose you based on a person-to-person -person basis. And a good mix, right, of analytics as well as just who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he still understands the old-school baseball mentality, but uh, he knows how to, like, kind of let you digest the knowledge as far as you could take it. Yeah. Okay, I did hear a story about you attending a military college. Yep. How does that affect what you're doing here today? Oh, a lot. Because, I mean, I, I, did, I did get to see what a lot of these guys were going through. And a lot of, I mean, because there's some guys that were on campus that had already done a couple tours in Iraq. And yeah. so, I mean... It, like, I, I saw the wear and tear it took, like, what it, what it really took to them and got to kind of see a little bit of it firsthand. So uh, I can only imagine what these guys are going through. So just a little gesture like this hopefully goes a long way. And you were there for a year, right? A year and a half, yeah. How old were you? 18 to 20. Very formative years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people see you around San Diego all the time. I feel like I always see a picture of you with a fan or whatnot. Where do people see you? Like, what are you at? What is, what is a perfect San Diego day for you? Perfect San Diego day would probably be going... To Mission Beach early, getting in the water while it's still chilly, okay. and then uh, somehow find my way to Noodle House in OB. So definitely, that, that, and then maybe end it at Lumi or the Huntress. That's my, my perfect. That'd be my perfect day. Are you surfing or just getting in the water? I'm not uh, just get in the water. Yeah, yeah, just get in the water. Hey, Mike, it's really cool to see you out here giving back. It's really cool to see the event. We really appreciate you taking the time, and yeah. look forward to seeing you back on the mound in 2022. Yeah, me too. Thank you.